fight, fight, fight. It's time for another face off. I'm gonna put the Corvin Pivot up against the Corvin Model 6. Stay tuned for the results. That's all coming up. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. And today we're gonna be expanding minds with two preservation systems from Coravin. For those of you that don't know what Coravin is, it's a wine preservation system that shoots argon gas into the wine so you can pull some wine out of the bottle, preserve the bottle for later, sometimes days, weeks, months, or even years. That way you can drink a great glass of wine and you don't have to waste the entire bottle. Or your spouse can have white, you can have red or vice versa. I won't go into the history of Coravin and the systems in detail because I did release a couple videos. I made a tutorial and a review of the Coravin Pivot. I'll put that up there and I'll put it in the description box. I also did a tutorial and review of the Coravin Model 6. I'll put that up there and in the description box. If you want to learn more about Coravin or what it is or what these systems do, just check out those videos. So since I have these two, I want to compare. I have these two systems and I have two bottles of the same wine from the same vintage. So I thought to access both of these wines and then follow their development over a few weeks. I have the Merga Victa Poship from Dalmatia, Croatia, 2019. 2019 was a great vintage in Dalmatia, Croatia for white wines. Poship is a native grape from the island of Korchula. It's a wine that's big bodied, rich, can be quite minerally, but even in the hot Mediterranean weather, they retain acidity. I kind of like to describe them as a, kind of a blend between Rhone style whites and maybe Chardonnay. If you could kind of blend those two together, that's what you're gonna get. Takes oak well, also does well as stainless steel fresh wine. I know this wine very well, tasted it many times, blind, unblind. That's why I thought it would be a great candidate to do this test. So first, let's use the Corvin Pivot. All you have to do is remove the cork, put the stopper in as quickly as possible because that prevents more oxygen from reaching the bottom. And now we're gonna access it with the Corvin Pivot. I'm gonna just stick it in there until it snaps into place and then pour myself a little glass. The, pivots, the pivot is a little bit easier to use than the Model 6 with the needle, but then again, you have to remove the cork for the pivot so oxygen does get in. This is the kind of system you wanna use for wines you're gonna drink relatively quickly. Corvin claims that the wines will stay fresh for up to four weeks, so that's what we're gonna do this test for to see if the wine actually stays that fresh. Next, I'm gonna access the, the second bottle of wine with the Corvin Model 6. This is a needle-based system. This has the new smart clamps that Corvin's talking talking about makes it a little bit easier. All you do is put the system on top of the bottle and then push it straight down. Let's pour a little out. Like I said in the review video, you want to use short pumps, short bursts. That actually saves gas and it maximizes the amount of uses you can get out of one Corvin capsule. When you're done, the easy thing about the smart clamps is you grab right at the neck and you just hand, grab the lever, lift the system and it comes right off. Corvin claims you can get about 15 gla full glasses of wine with this. I think 20 to 25 out of one capsule of this. I've noticed if you use the system properly, I've gotten anywhere from 35 to 50 small tasting pours out of one capsule, but you really have to learn how to use it. Make sure you check out the video. I'll show you all the tips. So let's smell both these wines. I want to make sure that they're not corked before we start this experiment. Then this video is just a huge waste. Okay, luckily the wines are not corked. Typical of what I expect from this variety. There's some nice flintiness. Get us some seawater notes. Get things like ripe pineapple, kind of a riper white peach type of flavor, maybe a touch of white pepper. But the stoniness, the flintiness, and the seawater is what really jumps out. I want to taste both of them just to make sure that they're okay. Great. Both bottles, there's no variation. The wines taste exactly the same. I'm just going to mark, today is February 18th. And we're gonna check back in on these bottles in one week. Time to go into the fridge. So it's already been one week that we first accessed these wines and put them in the fridge. It's been one week since you looked at me. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tell, it's been one week, yes, my hair's a little bit longer, maybe the next time when you see me in a couple weeks it's gonna be cut. Let's taste the wines and see how the Coravin stood up. 
I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I have no idea how this will turn out. Like I said, in a previous episode, I did taste a wine that was accessed for the first time with the Model 6 after five weeks. And although the wine was faded a little bit, it was a little bit oxidized, it still was drinkable. So I'm excited to see what's the case with these uh, bad boys. So I have the Poship access with the Pivot on the left and the Model 6 on the right. Let's compare. I'm actually surprised. I thought the Model 6 after one week would just blow it away. But actually right now, I kind of prefer the Pivot taste. Maybe because a little bit of oxygen got in the bottle to soften it up. I'm going to check back in three weeks. Okay, it's actually been uh, about five weeks since I first opened these wines. Let's get it. Let's insert this bad boy, the Corvin Pivot. Let's see how this goes. I've kept these wines in the fridge the entire time. I have not revisited them. I put them away in a corner. Pure experiment for you. Here's the real taste test. I have the Pivot on the right and the Model 6 on the left. Let's see here. Okay, first of all, on the nose. Remember I checked in after a week and I actually preferred the wine I tapped with the Corvin Pivot versus the Model 6. Here, it's completely obvious. While the wine I've been using the Corvin Pivot for still smells pretty good, the Corvin Model 6 bottle still smells really fresh and explosive. To my surprise, unlike last time, the wine that was accessed by the Corvin Pivot held together pretty well for five weeks. Still drinkable, you know, the flavors are a little bit muted, but it's not really oxidized, which I'm quite surprised. The Model 6 is definitely better. It's a little bit fresher, a little bit zippier. But if you didn't have the comparison, I think a lot of people would be completely fine drinking the wine from the Corvin Pivot. No question. Acidity, fruits livelier and brighter, brighter with the one I used the Corvin Model 6 on. I actually taste like when I first opened it. I think it's exactly what I thought before I even did this little taste test. Corvin Pivot, I think it's great if you're using it for about a week. I actually think this tool is fantastic for maybe distributors or people going to shops that want to show their bottle because they're just pouring through the wine over the course of the week without wasting the wine. It pours a lot faster than the Model 6, so you're saving time as well. But if you want to keep wines for a little bit longer, I definitely recommend the needle-based systems because the wine stays zippier and fresher. Obviously, it's because when you use the pivot, you have to remove the cork so oxygen does get into the bottle. So I hope that is helpful. I will put some links in the description box below for Amazon links to both of these systems. It helps the channel out if you purchase them using the links we get a small commission. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'd love to know what are your experience with these systems the pivot and the model 6 or the any needle based system. Do you like them? Do you not like them? I'd love to know. Leave it in the comments below and I will see you soon. Hello, thanks for watching. Hey, you made it to the end. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell so you know when new videos are out. If you like content like this, check out our Patreon page where you get some behind the scenes exclusive content. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.